Behind successful buildings and infrastructures are bright minds, hard works, and leadership. People with the ability to assert things and envision all possibilities. Whether small or high-rise projects cannot be completed without them. They are people that take responsibility and must do just decision-making. People that take in charge of planning, executing, monitoring, controlling, and closing out projects. They are the project managers. I am Jess Andreas. Jo Maria Gita Rayo, May Angela Cuesta, Razel Miguel De Vera, Civil Engineer, and we are proud to say that we are the products of the on the job training offered by IPMA Philippines. International Project Management Association or IPMA started in the year 1964. It was when P.A. Kusha Franz, a European aircraft project manager, invited Dick Vollings from the Netherlands and Roland Gash from Germany to discuss the benefits of the critical path method as a management approach. This group was chaired by Yves Eugene from Afiro and Professor Arnold Kaufman suggested the formation of International Network or Internet. But is internet different from IPMA? Well, in 1966, the 13th World Congress that was held in Paris, Internet got a name say, a new international telecommunication system. The executive board renamed Internet to International Project Management Association or IPMA. After 50 years of exchange of knowledge, ability, and experiences, they successfully created an uncountable number of high-quality project managers and engineers in the 70-member associations including IPMA Philippines. Sounds great, right? That's because in IPMA, they treat you as a partner for knowledge, competence, and performance in project management. International Project Management Association Philippines is an institution that are willing to help aspiring leaders or individuals to gain not just knowledge but also experience to improve their competency. I am a second-year civil engineering student in Polytechnic University of the Philippines who was taking on-the-job training in this time of pandemic. And it was a great relief and we are just all thankful that IPMA Philippines agreed to have that partnership with our school. It really shows their strong passion and motivation to fulfill their visions and that is to see all projects succeed. And just like any other student, I have no idea and I am really scared of what kind of world is waiting for me after graduation. It was not until I attended the OJT in Construction Project Management Program by IPMA Philippines did they realize how big and challenging the construction industry is. The program gives students paths or directions to choose whether they want to be a consultant, the contractor side, or the project manager in the near future. And it serves as advantage for us since it allows us to anticipate what are the required skills, possible challenges, and decisions we have to make when we become an engineer. But moreover, it inspires us to keep on learning and striving to pursue our dreams. It teaches us to always take one step forward until we realize that we finally reached our goals. The on-the-job training offered by the IPMA Philippines will not be possible without their amazing lecture. I am Professor Rocco Senga. Professor Engineer Rocco Senga is not just a speaker but he also serves as a great mentor. He talks in a cheerful tone from the start until the end of the webinar which always lighten up the mood. He serves as an inspiration to us, worked and committed for almost 30 years in the service, and he is still practicing his profession. We are greatly honored to hear every knowledge he is willing to give us. Engineer Rocke is a great speaker. Every single question that may throw to him, he can get details into it. Also, we are free to send questions and even clarifications, and he is willing to walk us through it. It really shows how knowledgeable he is and he knows what he is talking about. It makes me amazed whenever he talks about his experience in the field. They say that experience is the best teacher and I do believe in that too. As he gathered all those lessons he learned from errors and mistakes, 
He is guiding us to what we needed to avoid and leading us to make good decision making. He is indeed passionate to teach us. I remembered when the chat box that was supposed to be for greetings and questions was being abused by some students sending nonsense messages. He corrected them in such a way that students will be reminded that even though it is a virtual classroom, they still need to behave accordingly. It displays how professional engineer Rocky is and how he deals with his audience. Overall, we all do know that once we took a step towards the dream of becoming an engineer, we are one way ahead to experience the hard works, patience, and dedication that Professor Engineer Rocky Senga has undergone. And we will be reminded of every information that he wants us to take note. Participating in under-job training with ITMA was helpful for me because they taught us how to become a successful project manager. I gained knowledge about how to handle a project, how to be good at decision-making and the different contracts and their advantages and disadvantages. And those are some of the lessons that IPMA taught us, but actually there are many more. So, if you are a person looking to develop your skills as a project manager, program manager, or a portfolio manager, or as a trainer, consultant, or coach, you have come to the correct spot. There is information on IPMA's certification programs and international recognition as well as our products and services for talented people who are relatively new to our professions available here. Come and learn from us how to become a professional project, portfolio, or program manager or how to improve your skills as a professional project manager. So, what are you waiting for? Register na! Uy, dalian nyo! Mag-i-start na sa sarawin!